What is going oh, on, everybody? Can't record me. It is the Turn Up Tapes podcast back. Did not think we'd see the day the four of us gentlemen would bring it back together, but the day has finally come. We're excited to be here. Before we get started, we have two quick shout outs. First of all, do? shout out to the South Carolina Gamecocks being a regional ba- host. Baseball team, yes, we are. Baseball, you're hosting this weekend. Yes, we shout are. Shout out to them. And shout out to every one of y'all who've been watching the videos. Kind of long, kind of a while ago, but 100K views. Yeah. On Gamecock video. So shout out to y'all. That was a big deal. Watching that. Yeah, it was a big that was deal. Super, so. That was special. Yeah, you know, it was special. All, 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 all I got to say is the Gators are a higher seed. So that's fine. That's all I got to say. But, it's going to be a good tournament. No, it's gonna be fun. Eight we can get into teams. that later. We can, but is there any uh any direction anyone wants to get us started off with? Um, do we want to talk? I mean, the glaring item at hand is we could go right into NBA basketball. Let's gla- do it. Let's hold go on. To the the glaring the glaring item here is whatever the hell is behind curb is above curb's bed. Glowing <laughs> 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 like. <laughs> <laughs> The glaring item is literally the glaring item. Yeah, that thing yeah, is glowing. The, yeah, that's Who is it? Me. What is it's, it? It's uh, it's the Gamecock schedule from last year. For what? Football. For two years ago, that like, was Beamer's first year. Yeah. You think it's like a sign from God, like good things are to come from the football team? I don't know. What is reflecting off of that? Is it like the lamp? It's my light. It's my light. It's bright lights. No shit, Curb. You think that's what Jimmy saw when he looked at the rim for like all of last game? A blinding Probably. light? Probably, but... All right, so NBA. Obviously, Nuggets take care of the Lakers, but... Yep. Hey. Ball chase, yeah, the you playoffs. know what? We have to yeah, give we'll, flowers we'll, we'll where run, flowers we'll, are let's due. Run that, let's run that clip back here, post-editing. Any Fleet off with Chase. Fleet off with Chase. chase. Yeah. We know what's coming. Okay. Let's just we get know. it out of the way here. Mm-hmm. It's just black. <laughs> <laughs> let's hit him. Um, let's hit him with a bang. In the West, give me the Lakers. Yeah. Wow! Wow! Um, <laughs> we're yeah, we're gonna give flowers where they're due. Yeah, yeah. they you know, made a run. They, they sh- I didn't think they made the playoffs. No we one, all gave them shit for it. Was, yeah, I think did. all three of us gave them. Maybe so. not Weiss. I don't know. Weiss, did you give him shit for it? Probably. I probably didn't like what he said, but I gotta give it to him. Yeah, it was a good prediction. It was the a good. Lakers, yeah, the Lakers made a bunch of moves at the deadline, which definitely they turned it around. Now yeah, that's yeah, not his yeah. Eastern Conference pick, though. Is a different story. This this season is the Brooklyn Nets, and they went in quite the opposite direction. They went, they did not, they had a midseason turnaround, but like in the other way. Right, right. I like the moves they made. I like, I like, you do. I do, yeah. Better team chemistry. Deal. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> one, my, one of my teams at the, at the break went one way, the other one went the other way. You know, you win some, you lose some. Just like my Warriors, me and Curb, yeah, did we both have the Warriors. Yeah, we just we did. yeah, and the look, the Lake Show, Chase, he, yeah. he had us there. Um, I don't, did I have the? You'll be able to see this after. Did I have the Celtics or the Bucks? Do you remember? <sighs> what I saw tonight, I liked the Celtics out of the East. I hope I it was the Celtics. Had, I'm not sure. Well, the I don't know either. But um, we said you were Clippers in the West, correct? I think I might have been Clippers Bucks <laughs> most well, first round exits. So. Yeah, okay. that was. I mean, the Clippers were never going to get it done. Yeah. The Bucks, the Bucks. They were least... dealing with injuries at the time. Paul George never played in the series, so goal. He did. And, and hang on, we have a timeout. We're taking our first timeout of the podcast. We have a goal on from Nashville. Can we get a name? Na- I don't know. Uh, Can we get a number? I, if he stands up, I, seven, I think. Kid's got his shirt off. He's just... maybe we figure that out post editing too. Who is number seven? seven. We can number we can seven. For we, can, we, can, we can give we can give some credit where credit's due for scoring in the middle of our podcast. That Good for the little... city of Nashville, yeah. making up for what their football team can't provide them. Hope we're off a corner. I'm like flying. Hope. Oh, Anyways, uh, the main topic of the NBA is my Miami Heat are in jeopardy of being the first team in 150. 150 games, that right? A team that go up 3 0 or 150 and 0 in winning series. So, so yeah, that would be a good look. Picoult. Fafa Picoult with the goal. Okay. Okay, Fafa, Fafa Picoult. Fafa. What a name. <laughs> Sounds like a food item at a Ukrainian restaurant. 
<laughs> faff up a cult. Yeah, let me get a faff up a cult. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the Miami Heat, I mean, anyone That's have good. any thoughts on, on them so far? Uh, like the the series? Um, I think I watched I actually didn't actually watch game four and five. I did watch the end of game six last night. And I think one of the commentators mentioned it, but Jimmy Butler looked like scared, which is like yeah. you don't see that often in the playoffs with Jimmy, as at least as of late. But he looked really timid. He wasn't even involved. He kind of like stood over there and kind of was trying to be a decoy. But is he going to be a good decoy when he's like three for nineteen from the field? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. My numbers out there, man. Right. What are we seeing? That's this. This is the man that's played the highest level of basketball out of the four of us. So let's let's throw it his way. Um, in the yeah. Can't really say much about my experience with basketball, but um, it's definitely the Celtics defense has definitely been one of the main reasons why they've been so successful. And I was actually scrolling through TikTok and it was a video of uh, explaining why the Celtics had been so successful and it's been through their switching and I, if you guys saw Jimmy Butler was in early foul trouble, I think he had four with the might have been like the start start of the third and the way they were switching and just like getting on the ball after every screen was insane and it I mean the Celtics have been one of the best defensive teams all year and they're finally starting to turn it on so they're so long at each position they are. I feel like they are so like and and they haven't been biting on Butler's like he's really good yeah. with those head fakes and those mm-hmm. ball fakes and they've just been, like, like Luke said, like they've been taking those away. So he looked really timid. Like he just didn't, he looked like scared to just try and go up immediately. Yeah, one thing to note though, although he was scared during the final minutes, he was more aggressive and yeah, he, yeah. When was, he plays like that. I mean, good, yeah. to stop, but he always is going to give you a chance to win. I feel like even when he has a night like that, like he just he's just a playmaker. That's just, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. But I think him not – like, it was like a complete flip of the switch because I feel like he's been doing a ton, but his supporting cast hasn't for, like, most of the playoffs. But then kind of towards the end of this series, it's been flipped around, whereas, like, Caleb Martin was a baller out there last night yeah. along with, like, a couple other guys. Obviously, Duncan Robinson missed a couple of big shots, but I thought he played okay. Yeah. And, I mean, but he's got to be – Jimmy's got to be better if they have a chance game seven. Mm-hmm. That's the reality of the things. They live and die on his sword. Chase, you got any thoughts? Eh, you know, um, I haven't been very involved in the series. I just, <clears throat> I, uh, oh. yeah, I don't know where that came from, but I don't know either. I was, you know, it's st- we're still in baseball season, so I haven't been able to watch much basketball. Um, but. I got, I got the Heat game seven all day. Game seven. I, no, I, I, I think so. Right? I think yeah. they turn it around, yeah, man. It Jimmy, he one. promised they'd get it done. I'm going to go Heat. I hope they do. I have to go Heat. We correspondent? I think gonna he's going to. I'm going to go yeah. Celtics. Yeah, he is. Uh, and yeah, he is. Um, I just like what I've been seeing from them the past three They games. do look good. They do can't, look good. Can't, can't, no. I'll tell they you what, work. man. This Jason Tatum guy, I mean, there's not much better in the league than him right now. Same Lewis, baby. Yeah. He he's just so crafty with the way he plays and he's so long. Like he is like he's just yeah, oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah. I knew that one was coming. Um but yeah. A lot of good things out of him. I thought Jalen Brown hasn't been the best, but Tatum's kind of made up for that. We got two guys watching a soccer game right now. Uh I'm I'm noticing that Ryan, you you were away. <laughs> the screen just I got active ears. I got active ears. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> I hear you. Hey, I'm well, watching the guys in some pink mention. shirts. I see like, the, the, the umpiring umpire yeah. in yeah. the background. I like that. That's a nice touch. Minor league, major league, major league. It's Phil Cuzzy right there. So we were chirping an umpire at a minor. We went to the uh, <laughs> Port St. Lucie Mets. They played the uh, Palm Beach Cardinals. Cardinals. We went to a minor league game in Florida, and we were kind of barking. And he, and he, and he looked back at Weiss. At Weiss, was it you? Do you remember I the story? So. I, I think I said that. I might have said like that was out. 
And I was like, low. And then you came, you you fired something in right after me. Something like, come on, like blue. Turned, you kind of like turned our way. <laughs> do, you, do you know, do you remember the date? Friday, Friday, correct? It was Friday, uh, Friday night. Yeah, yep. Friday. So what was it, two Fridays ago? Uh, yes. So, yeah. It was the 19th. Friday the 19th, yeah. Against the... I think it might have been a shutout if that was helped. Was it the 6-0 the no. game? It looked like, yeah. like, yeah, they might have been our age. At least one of them. Is this the box score? I don't know either of those guys. It's okay. Yeah. Right. yeah. Chad Lagana and Shea Graham. Um, I'm sure I could make some text and figure out if they're any good or not. But. So yeah, that we got our predictions. Um, do we do we want to save? Do we think we're gonna do another one of these in a couple days? Like, do we want to save our finals call for like a couple days? Oh. Uh. I probably have the Nuggets beating whoever they play. Is what I would say. Nuggets okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And and Jokic to have a three point buzzer beater for some dude's parlay I saw today that will net him thirty four thousand oh. dollars. we're gonna go Heat and seven over here. I'm gonna come take Heat and seven. I really hope the Celtics win. Just so if this if the Seas win, it's season seven. I think I think both the teams play better than the Nuggets. So Dave's got the East and seven. I do, yeah. But Heat Heat is my primary pick here. I got the Lakers in eight. <laughs> Lakers in Rise thirteen. Yeah. Rise from the dead. LeBron, do we think LeBron's coming back? I know he's yeah, yeah, he he's, he's gonna, gonna play again. Back. Yeah, he's yeah. he's going to uh USC, the real USC. Um, he's gonna play with his son. He needs to go to take yeah. a shooting clinic with Ryan, I think. Ryan, I think you need to Open up you might need to coach up LeBron. Yeah, I, I know he struggled throughout the series. So I, he, if he gives me a call, then maybe a little DM. Yeah, yeah, yeah I could, get in yeah. the DMs there. Some could highlights. be big for the brand. Oh, good, yeah. Mm-hmm. Could be big for the brand. Um, do we want to talk hockey? Uh, I'm not going to be much help. We can. I, mean, I, I, I watched the Kane series, but I have not watched a single lick of. This uh, star series, though. So, okay, Chase, have you been any type of active with hockey? Um, not very. I mean, I've, I, I, uh, Joe Pavelski. What a fucking guy! I'll tell you what, man. When they, when they, when the game one against Seattle, and Seattle took to took the game five four, but he scored all four of their goals. <laughs> I was like, this guy, like thirty-eight years old, running around like a madman. Yeah, he's yeah. You know, he's just... Like, I I mean, I remember like back when I used to play like NHL sixteen or whatever. This guy was a dude, and now you know, still a guy. He's still a dude, man. I know. I wake up one morning and the headline is Joe Pavelski scores four goals, and I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. So I guess I can kind of recap what I've seen. Um. So, as we all know, the Maple Leafs into their like nineteen year first round. Dr- uh, no what am I looking for? Well, drought. Um, they ended that drought just to get swept in the second round, and the resulting act was firing their general manager, and they're probably going to be moving a lot of pieces around. But the the Florida Panthers who took them down, it was kind of like. I don't think people were taking them very seriously. Like they beat the Bruins and like, oh, it's a fluke. And then they beat the Leaves and they're like, oh, it's the Leaves. And then they go and sweep the Canes. And now it's like these guys are real. pretty unreal, mm-hmm. man. But I will say I'm not going to root for them. They are very mean, which is like you need some toughness in hockey. But like they really like cross the line several yeah. times. The the other thing I I've, I've seen hockey wise is Sergey Bobrovsky. He's a demon. Yeah, He's a fucking guy. I He's... watched I watched a um a highlights clip and like yep. some, of the, some of the stuff he was doing like you could just tell in that you know in that Kane series like some of the saves he was making like the Canes players were just so fucking. There, yep, he and, won them all four games. I would argue. And yeah, I mean, 
so you know, Aho had a couple, you know, breakaways that definitely should win in that Bro Bro Bobrovsky saved and just some ridiculous stuff, you know, getting his blocker up, dropping his stick, saving a, a one time goal that a hundred percent should should be in the back of the net. So I, I think just from what I saw, which I didn't watch any of these games, but just from what I saw on the highlight tape, I'm like, guy's a dog. Yeah, when we were uh, watching that podcast on the way back from Florida, uh, they mentioned game one in Bobrovsky. I think they said in game one, his expected, like, the expected goals for the Hurricanes was like five or five. something. Like that. It was crazy. Did he, did he shut him out or let in like one or it, something? It was probably like one or two, something like that. Yeah, last last time I saw the expected thing, he's like, he saved 18 more goals than expected or however yeah. that stat works. But 18 more goals should have passed him in this playoffs than what mm-hmm. has. Well, I think game one, what was special <laughs> is they had like the Canes, I think, put like 50 or 60 shots on goal on him. And he saved all of them, but like one. Yeah, so I'm like, what What yeah, do you out, do, they man? Out, they outshot, the Canes outshot the Panthers two to one and, you know, lose. What do you do? Like, what do you do? Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. So they, they feel like they're the team. And obviously I'm relatively new to watching hockey, but I've seen several analysts say he's, Bobrovsky's playing the best hockey of his career, like right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Any, anytime uh, you see a guy like that, you know, putting up numbers like this and keeping, you know, 60 shots and only, you know, however many go into the back of the net. Like, you you look at the stat box and you're like, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know. Now, they do have – they've had quite the layover between – they will have quite the layover between series. So you wonder if he'll be the same. Like, if can he stay on that – on a heater coming into – the Stanley Cup Finals, where which the Western Conference Series is not over. It is three to two Vegas, but it's going back to Dallas. It could very well be another reverse sweep type situation. <laughs> Dallas looks good again. They're getting their captain Jamie Ben back, which is a big deal. You know, have that leadership on the ice. What a save! Not a fan of Jamie Ben though. Did anyone see how he got suspended? Yeah, knocking that Knights player down, and then he, when yeah. the guy was down, he just shoved his stick in his face and just kept beating <laughs> his head into the ground. Afterwards, he did not speak to the media either. It was his I, choice. I don't. I don't, I don't think like, I would have spoke to the media either. But you're the captain of your <laughs> team, man. You're the you're the leader. You got to go out there. Like he lost them the game. They had to kill off a five minute penalty in the first twenty seconds of the game. And they couldn't do it. They they let in two goals within the first like five minutes, and that effectively ended the game for them. So I don't know. Jason Robertson's playing a lot better than what he out of his mind earlier. In the Scored playoffs. like every game so mm-hmm. far the series. It's been cool. I, what I think is cool about the Stars is their philosophy with their goalie. Like they have Ottinger out there, but if he lets in like a quick couple the pull them like immediately their leash is so short but like sometimes he'll go out there and be amazing and then sometimes he, like he never puts up an average night like he's either swiss cheese or he's he's mm-hmm. a roadblock which i think is cool curb has it been weird watching the playoffs without the blues out there not a shot i'm just uh, no yeah chase, I mean, it's, same it's, the penguins they're pretty consistent too aren't they like i'm yeah, again i'm new to the sport but they're like yeah. usually a dynasty. We, we we over the you know the past you know decade, decade and a half, two decades, we've been the guys who have been in it ever you know, been there. Not you know, maybe not all the way every year, but we've been there every year almost. And, yeah. You know, when you know mm-hmm. first the playoff tree comes out at the beginning of the playoffs and you're like, Man, this feels weird. Like where where are my guys? <laughs> where are the penguins? Yeah, where where are we at? Like, especially for you know. I kept up with hockey this year, but, you know, there's been some years where I haven't really kept up with it. And then, you know, playoff hockey rolls around. I'm like, all right, here we go. And then, you know, I just flip on day one and there's the pins playing. And today, like, if I hadn't kept up with it the other regular season of this year, I would have been like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, what's going on? So uh, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure you guys kind of cleaned house up top. And I yeah. think you guys are looking to bring in – I've heard it's almost a done deal between – for for the former Leaves GM to come in and be the GM of Pittsburgh, hmm. so we'll see how it. that we'll see how that plays <clears throat> out. I don't hate it. They got a talented roster up there. They do. They just Toronto, they just cursed. Have, which 
honestly strikes me as weird because if you have a talented roster, that means the GM put together a good roster, then the coach didn't do a good job coaching the team. Yeah. But hey, I'm not a hockey coach. I mean, I played peewee hockey, and that's about it. So. Now, I do I do have something to ask you about that I was curious. Um, yeah. I've been seeing – I saw on Instagram the other day that it's like to touch or to not touch the Eastern Conference final trophy. Oh, like, touch. Touch. What is but, 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 but is what is the backstory to that? Like, what is the do you know? Like, it's what? just always like I don't know the full on backstory, but it's always like it was always a thing. Like some teams wouldn't touch it, like very specifically, like would not touch it, just leave it on the table and skate off. And then some teams pick it up, carry it around, kiss it, so whatever you know. I don't think there's a there's a wrong and a right way to do it. But it's just always every year. It's like, oh, are they going to touch it? Or are they not going to touch it? Are they going to touch it? Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if like some team was like cursed after touching it, and now it's like, don't touch it. Okay. All right. No, it's just a just a talking point, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, that's all I've got for hockey. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention my Kraken real quick. Heck of a year. Mm-hmm. Um, took the Stars to Game Seven. It was a like, fun watch in Vero. I thought we had a chance there at the end. Um, but yeah, great season. Proud of them. Excited. Hockey's a fucking sick sport too. If, if you don't watch hockey, get on the wave, especially playoff mm-hmm. hockey. I couldn't recommend it anymore. I used to be a big, not like hater, but I wouldn't watch it. Now I, I watch every game, even if it's not my team. So the, I would watch. Other thing I got to say about hockey, congrats to the Chicago Blackhawks. You just won, you won the yeah. sweepstakes for a dude. Yeah. Scott yeah. The dark. Mm-hmm. Calgary still leading, though, by two. Bedard to bring him up for Regina. One on two. Step by the defenseman to the net. The deke, and he scores. This guy is raw. I mean, Bedard. I, I, you know, as little hockey as I've watched in the past, I've seen this guy popping up on my, you know, YouTube pages or whatever for years. And mm-hmm. you put, you, dude, you could put this guy at his own net and he'd score in the top right corner. So this guy's gonna this guy's the this guy's the biggest thing since mcdavid came out so that's a big like, name mm-hmm. so i did hear there was a lot of uproar about the draft the lottery being rigged oh, apparently for the blackhawks yeah. so mm-hmm. do, we, we, do we stand where do we stand do we think do we think it think, was i don't think it was rigged uh probably not but you could see why i guess oh i could see why but i mean i just the lottery wasn't done it, it, like live on tv like they weren't pulling you know and all mm-hmm. this so they already knew what was going on somebody just put up a graphic too early so yeah it's like it's like, it's like everything in sports besides you know like mm-hmm. games and stuff. somebody mentioned mention. stuff like this so before we move on from hockey luke and david you guys don't know this but the uh, dinos actually played today and they went undefeated and they got over 500 we have it's a, a big deal. Yeah. Woo, Clap it up for the dinos. Put them together for the dinos. Dinos, I gotta hop on. Yep. Is it Should able? Am I Should able to play with you guys on the four or no? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to do that. Yeah. I very much so look for. I feel like I'm gonna be better now. I know offsides. I know icing. Yeah. Yeah. Got to get that thing downloaded. We got. Eight, I will. We got eight minutes left on this yep. fucking thing. Yeah. We'll, yep. we'll take an intermission, get that bitch done. Go ahead and uh, we'll wait, wait, into... where are we uh, coming in at? Yeah, we're gonna go to MLB next. All right, jumping into MLB here. Um, can I take early... charge? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> My Braves look fantastic. We're hurt and we're still winning ball games. Our we're still better than your down favorite team. Bad, probably. Oh, you know who's not good? Same as right. Cardinals. All right, all right, all right. The They're figuring it out. They and myself. The same as Cardinals are figuring it out. Yeah. Pitching is still a big issue today. Comes after to bite you again. No, it wasn't even the bats. Can't have health. No, I'm saying they're good. Things. I'm saying they're good. The bats oh, have yeah, figured yeah, it out. Yeah, they're they're getting there. Yeah. Pitching is still a problem. I 100 percent expect deadline. Hopefully someone gets shipped out. Gotta get a guy. Uh, Gotta get Tyler to. O'Neal. Maybe Carl. Gotta get a guy. And then some, some combo of something to get an arm. Yep, as sure as hell, need one. Uh, oh, I, I would be remiss if we didn't bring this up. We have a little side quest going on this MLB season that if Juan Yepes hits 30 home runs, I will buy his Cardinals jersey. So 
for one all Yepes of viewers is, out there, Juan Yepes is not going to hit 30 home runs. And I'm, <laughs> I, I'm well aware of that fact. I'm well aware that Juan Yepes will not we probably wasted, even touch that. We number. just wasted 30 seconds talking about it. <laughs> well, it's it's just a, it's a thing that's happening. It's a thing that's happening. Well, so, he's at two. He's he's almost there. <laughs> 28 to go. If he gets hot, he could do it in four games. <laughs> Let's go four for four, four home runs every night. But um, um yeah, Cardinals. Matt Olson. We'll have to see once we get closer to the deadline. But can I, can I give a can I give a shout out to somebody who's playing out of their freaking mind? I hope I hope I hope you're gonna say who I want to say because just say it. It's not a brave. Ah well, Ronald. But I was gonna give a shout out to Yandy Diaz. Yeah, like like yeah. like if the season ended right now. MVP, MVP in the AL, no doubt. Just like advanced statistic wise, just outlandish numbers on a you know very successful Rays team that started out the year hotter than any team has since who know whatever year that that nineteen early nineteen hundreds. Like just being a guy, and he just hasn't you know he's not he's not a name that you see on TV. Them talking about you're like oh that guy's a stud. Like oh uh, wow. This guy, this guy shows yeah. up, yeah, plays his ball, goes home, and nobody talks about him. Like this guy's a dog. holy smokes. I mean, that yeah. Rays team, like they don't really have like a, a superstar besides like Franco. You could like categorize. They can't the pay star. for any of them, but all they just have guys though. Like they're just they develop so well. It's crazy. yeah. The 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 Rays are the definition of. Like money ball, at, at they're this. what the A's want to be. Ex- yeah, it's you know, it's just hey, we're gonna pay as little as possible, and we're gonna win baseball games, and we're gonna be in it every year. <laughs> and you know, this might be a year where it's like, hey, we're this good. It's deadline time. Let's pick up a guy on a big contract who's only got this year left, and we'll pay him for the end of this year, and then you know, maybe we make a run at it. Mm-hmm. They got it. They got. They've got the farm system. They've got prospects at the, you know, at the ass. And whoever they trade away, they're just going to replace with somebody. I mean, they find talent in teams' farm systems that these teams can't even think these guys are going to turn into anything. Yeah, super high on the race. Mm-hmm. Both my team last year, but of course they don't do good last year. I'm high on any team that if my team makes a trade with, I'm like, oh no, we just got fleeced. No matter what it is, what happens, I'm like, yeah, we probably shouldn't have given those guys up. And that's how I think with the race. Um yeah, not not my buy or sell here, but I'm gonna buy the fuck out of Ronald Acuna's stock right now. Um MVP. I mean MVP. tonight, four for five, put a beat down on the Phillies. I mean, like, dude, the guy is just yeah. like and what I love about him, man, is just the swag. Like he's always wearing like three chains. He's gonna do the Euro step coming up to third. And he does like the two little. Like I'm I'm like if I wasn't a Braves fan, I would hate him. It was like I feel like it's the same, like he's like a Cam Newton kind of guy where like if I wasn't a fan of his team, I'd be like, this guy is such a piece of work, taunting you know, and like doing all this stuff. But he he backs it up with this play. He's that know. guy. You don't know how sad I am that Juan Soto is not in the same division anymore because I feel like those two could have been two of the most hated players over yeah. the next decade just because mm-hmm. their flashy play style and teams playing against yeah. them like hate them. Mm-hmm. But I think he's sick. I think he's so awesome. I, I, I love – I think there needs to be more energy like that in baseball of guys just like wearing their personality on their sleeve a little bit. It brings some flair to a game that's like – it needs it. We have lost Chase, haven't we? No, I'm here. No, oh, here. okay. 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 Sorry, you Another like froze person. for a second on my screen. Another player um that um been playing really well is also on the Braves, Sean Murphy. I know Dave oh, yeah. you were yeah. talking about oh, him yeah. getting out there. Yeah. Alex, that was yeah. a good that was a great signing by Yard Trey, whatever y'all acquired. Our, him, our GM is a big brain master. Well. Braves just get guys and they <laughs> sign them for cheap and they and, win. They, they're just they're not good. much else to it, good, man. I'm a big DR no guy, so it, I mean it's kind of like I don't know. <laughs> hey, it's tough hey. for me. Hey, we can play them both. DH. You can't. Yeah, that's the cool thing about the DH. You can play them both. I do miss Dansby Swanson. I'm I'm just gonna say it though. I do miss him. Who? So, 
No, I'm kidding. Uh, uh, I'm kidding. I'm fuck kidding. off. I I um I don't think I am happy that we did not pay him that money. No, I me neither, but I do miss him. Kind of like yeah. Freddy. You know. Yeah. I can understand that. Um anything else with baseball? Do we want to make like have we made like predictions? Should we make like a prediction? Y'all want to do that? Oh, uh, yeah, we can. That's like what okay. World Series? Yeah, we can. Okay. Go on like just one. Get, get, no, get, let's go get sleeper. Get a, get a sleeper. Get a sleeper though. Get you a sleeper. Okay. Uh Weiss, you want to lead us off? Yeah, sure, I'll go ahead. Um in the National League, I think it's between two teams. Braves and Dodgers. Oh darn. And I'm gonna take the Braves. Yeah. And in the American League, I think it's a little bit more wide open, but I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but it's a team that just has so much postseason success. Like it's just hard not to pick him, and I'm gonna go with the Astros. Yeah. Astros, Braves, little rematch. And I'm gonna take the Braves. Yes. Love it. It's a great Love pick. It. It's fantastic. Go we, ahead. Can, wait, can we get sleep? Are we going sleepers afterwards? Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, we'll go sleepers at the end. You want me to give you some sleepers? Well, no, well, let's let's run through everyone's uh favorites yeah, yeah. and then we'll go come ahead. back. Kirby. Go ahead, Kirby. All right. Um in the in the National League, I'm also gonna go the Braves for my favorite. Let's go. I think they're just so well rounded. Um, Wait, Luke American... picking the Braves? Wait, yeah, oh, yeah. what's oh, what's going on here? Are we in an oh, alternate? Are we in Stranger <laughs> Things? Oh, oh, darn dogs. I'll pick the. I, I just said they're going to win the National League. Didn't say they win the whole thing. And <laughs> in the AL, hmm. um, give me the New York Yankees. Turn around, second half of the season. Yeah, damn it, halfway, but. <laughs> And I do. I I will say the Braves win the whole thing, though. I think they're the best team in baseball. Go ahead, Dave. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go with the Braves out of the NL. No <laughs> surprise to anyone. Um, that's my team. Um, out of the AL, I feel like the AL is kind of tough because like there's so many like teams that are good, but like, I obviously like. A couple teams stand out, but like there's a lot of teams that are just good. Um, yeah, I mean, kind of like what we said, the Astros is just like a ah, god, yeah. I don't want to pick them though. Haven't have the D backs been playing well? Yeah, in there now. that would no, be okay. Now. <laughs> yes, so I don't know the divisions, and that is another the D backs. Uh, our sleeper though. Can, can we name yeah. some? Um, can we name some yeah, uh, AL teams for me? A's, Orioles, Yankees, Red Sox, Blue Jays, Rangers, Twins, Tigers, Guardians, White Sox, Royals, Rangers, Rangers, Astros, Mariners, Angels, Athletics, Fraud. Rangers. Rangers are frauds. Give me, give me, <laughs> give me. I'm gonna give me the Orioles out of the AL. They're a fun team. <laughs> They're a young I team. I love it. I love it. I love it too. Give me the Orioles. Okay. Um, I I I'll start with my NL one. I think I think everybody knows where I'm going with this. Um, give me give me the Braves. Yeah. Best they team got a good team. Best team in baseball. Pitching, hitting, oh, we're deep. Best best team in baseball. And in the AL, give me the Rays. I think this is the year that okay you know, they they really just they take this lead and it just doesn't 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 go back. Um. Some guys are stepping up that haven't stepped up before. And now give me give me the Braves to win it all. But in reality, I think the Rays beat us in six. Wait, 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 wait. Time out. Well, then what what's your pick? Oh, I'm oh, no no no. If we're if we're writing something down, I'm picking the Braves. Okay. Okay. But in reality, I think the Rays win it. Because you were like, I think the Braves will win, but actually the Rays will no, win. No, 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 no. My pick is the Braves, but like if we really break down the heart of it and take out all the all the love and you know, I think the Rays yeah. win. Yeah. Okay. Um 
But I can start with the sleepers. Do you want to go like flip it back for like the sleepers? Yeah. Yeah. Gives me first go, so nobody steals my team too. I like that. Um, I hope you don't pick the team I'm going to pick. Give me, give me somebody out the AL. Give me somebody out the Central. It's a weak division. Um, Say it, baby. They got a you know good roster up and down. I love what they do with young pitching. They got a stud third baseman. Give me the Cleveland Guardians. Weese is smiling. Weese is clapping somewhere with that pick. You know, they, they've been shaky to start um, seven and a half games out of the wild card right now. But, you know, the division's weak. They're only three and a half out of the division. Put them up there. You know, Minnesota, I don't think they can sustain. So, you know, I think Cleveland does what they always do, get a little bit better at the trade deadline and somehow make a late season push and they end up taking the division. My up? Oh, you yes. Do. Okay. Uh, NL – since I almost picked them for the AL pick, we're going to go with the Diamondbacks. I think they have a good team, and I think they have a former Gamecock, which is a big deal to me, Christian Walker, who's actually – isn't he playing pretty good? He is. You know? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I see him on the home run page. I follow home runs in MLB, and that's kind of where I get the majority of my baseball knowledge, and I see him on there sometimes. Um, out of the AL – this team I actually like do believe in a little bit. I think this is a team where it's kind of been a phenomena on how they haven't like done it yet. We're gonna go with the Los Angeles Angels out of the out of the uh, mm-hmm. the AL oh, to West. actually make the playoffs. Um, they're gonna make the playoffs with Shohei and Mike Trout. This is it. They because they have to win to keep Shohei around. You'd think if they don't make the playoffs this season. I'm out of there from him. Um, I think they pick up a couple pitchers of the deadline. Maybe trade for uh, Helsley, and they go from there. That wouldn't do much good. (laughs) They need an elite closer who brings energy. Yeah, second most blown saves in baseball. Really? Yeah, I believe so. Jesus, man. Jesus. Not good. Jesus. Um, I'll go ahead and head into my sleeper. I'm going to just roll with what my preseason prediction was as my sleeper, which is the St. Louis Cardinals and the Toronto Blue Jays, both teams that have probably um, undershot expectations. Come on, man. What, sleeper? I didn't say it's supposed to be. Oh, come on. Get that yeah, out of here. Let me tell you something about your sleeper. Your sleeper is still going to be sleeping. But your sleeper is in hibernation. It's a long season. Still have 160. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I don't know. We still have a lot of games left. <clears throat> so that, that, that's my sleeper. So we'll come back in four months and we'll see. What was your AL? Um, Toronto Blue Jays. Yeah. If I could pick another team, they'd be them or the Sox. Least. Yeah, for me in the AL, I mean, Two teams that I like have already been said. Those were the Blue Jays and Guardians. So if I had to choose another one, I'd probably go Mariners. Good pick. Um, and I like the Twins a lot. They have a number one. I've been on this guy since last year, <laughs> Joe Ryan. Hey, I'm a big fan of their number two, Pablo. I can cheer for him now. He's not in my division. And in the NL, they're. I mean, they're – Underperforming right now. Don't say it. I'm the, they're not a sleeper. Forget that. I'm gonna go with the. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Marlins. I'm gonna go with the Marlins. I like their. That. I like their pitching. I love pitching. that. And Who are you gonna, gonna go? Were you gonna go Phillies? Or? No, he was gonna go Padres. Yeah, I was gonna go oh. Padres. Okay. I don't think they're a sleeper. So. The cool thing right now, I feel like about baseball is no team is really out of it besides like the A's. Like every other team is like, if they get hot, they could like get in, you know. The, the Nationals are out of it. No, but are they? Like, you know I know you're saying that because their roster like, sucks, but like, no, are division, they like really out of it? Division's too good. They're out of it. the The Royals are out of it. They're fifteen and a half back already. What's crazy is okay. the AL East. The AL East is yeah. Everybody's crazy. above five hundred, and somebody's ten and a half games back. That is crazy. That division. Holy cow. Holy cow. Um, I mean, anything else, baseball? Texas is legit. 
Yeah. Yeah, I want to say I whenever I said fraud, I was lying. Texas is legit, boys. <laughs> Walking that one back. Yeah, I am. How I about college their, baseball? Uh, I looked at their run differential and it told me that they are a damn good baseball team. College baseball. Well, college college baseball, baseball is interesting right now, you know. Gamecocks almost choked toast in a regional towards the back end of the year. Jesus, man, I can't. I just I don't want to yeah. talk. Let's not talk about them. I LSU mean, fell off. Fucking like AM's hotter than, you know, who knows what right now, you know, making a, a championship, you know, getting their out, you know. Mm-hmm. But college baseball is gonna be interesting, you know. Oh god. We have a guest appearance. Kai. Kai. Pick Ooh. pick. You have to pick a team from the AL and the NL to win the World Series. Who's a uh, um AL Rays? He's going with the Let's Rays go. out of the AL and the NL. And you got your Mets. Going Mets on the low. It's all about the Mets for Kai. <laughs> get him out of here. Get him out of here. They say, get the hell out of here. Get him out of here. Hey man, wait till they win it all, bro. You gonna see. <laughs> Get them out of here. They've been down me, but what'd you come in here for? Hey, 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 we love guys who spend three hundred and fifty million on payroll. Fucking Yankee. Yeah, Yeah, um, baseball. We can continue. I think guys, tomorrow when the the official games come out and everyone. Yeah, so all all the the all the regional hosts were announced today. Um, I think, I think selection. I think it's tomorrow. I think it is tomorrow. So, but who finished number one overall? Was it Wake? I know Wake. 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 Yeah, Wake. Yeah, they're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tomorrow noon Eastern. ESPN two. David, you're muted. (laughs) Gotta give Clemson their flowers. They won the ACC. I hate them, Mm -hmm. but they look good. Yeah, uh, good. I was actually watching this. This is completely irrelevant to college baseball, but it's actually called softball. I was actually what about watching Oklahoma, right? Oklahoma versus Clemson. Oklahoma had a it might have been a fifty-five game win streak on the line, and Clemson was up seven four, top of seven, and Oklahoma hit a three run shot to tie, it, and they ended up winning at nine wow. to set the record. So. Special man, crazy. special. What? How, how many games are in a, have they lost this season at all? Like, I think, I think they have one loss. Holy they're, cow, man! They're, they're it's ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> they're like yeah, game women's so cool. basketball. I don't possible. <laughs> no, they're they're like up, like Gamecocks women basketball. Great, right? Oklahoma softball a step above that. That's that's how, unreal. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. crazy. It's, it's that's how crazy this shit is. It's. Oh, before we move on from baseball, so I have this signed baseball my grandma gave me when I was a kid, and I was curious if any of you guys know who this guy is. Eric Gagne. Eric oh. Gagne. That's worth something. That's an oh, wait, 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 wait. It's not signed, I don't think. Wait, it might not be signed. Wait, hang on. Well, can We're going to take it you, out of a little container. Some, can I give you some correct pronunciation? Oh, no, no it, it, it is signed. Eric Ga- Ga- Gagne. Gagne. Gagne, the out of it. Gagne. It is signed. Look at that. That's nice. Yeah. Wow. And it came, it has like his little news article in there. He's, um, he's he's an elite closer of all time. Yeah. Really? Well known name across MLB. Yeah. So you guys think, think there might be something to this? Yeah. Oh, no. They're, that, I mean, let's just quick little curbs comps on eBay. We have quite a couple cool signatures actually in the room. This right here is Josh Norman. He came into Chick Fil A, and bucks. when when Breland was working, and he signed yeah. a a nugget, a wow. nugget container. Wow, you saw um, that about fifty sixty bucks curb. Yeah, for a ball about fifty fifty five yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, but hold on to that sucker. Never know. This would be. We got one more here. Big Easy Arnold Palmer here. Oh. Wow. <laughs> He's actually not as valuable though. He 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 signed a uh, a lot of stuff, but I thought that was a cool thing of him to do. She she was telling you about you guys about that right? How like it was my uncle's and he was like, "Yeah, I'll piss you." Right. <laughs> we missed a goal. 
No, I saw it. I just didn't want to interrupt. Go! Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. Unbelievable. Yeah. Buy or sell? Buy or sell? Uh, yeah, let's go buy or sell. Somebody um, kick it who off. Wants to, who wants to lead us off here? Dave, I think you should. This is your idea. Okay, can I can I, I I would like to to ask about y'all's understanding. Are we doing a buy and a sell or a I'm buy or a sell? I'm doing both. Okay, I have a buy. And I a will sell. also do both. I did both. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, okay. So will this be the standard moving forward? Yeah. Okay. So for my buy, I'm gonna buy something that really or someone that really stood out to me these past couple weeks. We're gonna buy Michael Block. We're gonna buy the Block Party. <laughs> that was one of the most. Yeah, shot like an 84 oh, no. or something ridiculous, man. No, yeah. not this weekend. Two it. weeks ago. Yeah. Come yeah. on, guys. I'm not yeah, I'm selling the block week. party. I wouldn't sell the block party. But... I wouldn't We're sell buying I would the block buy party. I just let it sit where it is. We are buying the block party. Um, the ace. I mean, you guys can't tell me that that last <laughs> round was not one of the most unreal, like the hole in one where you just dunked it. Um, yeah. and then the up and down on 18. Which was, I mean, That's God, that was special. It was his week. It was just yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. We're also, I mean, this is off the record. I just thought of. We're gonna buy Luke Kirby, and we're gonna buy his eagle on hole thirteen oh. on the north course yep. of John's Island. The young man recorded his first eagle. For those who nice. didn't know about it, he holed out from 160 yards away in a fairway bunker chase. Took one hop, dropped. And That's we didn't know when crazy. it from back there, but uh, and it yeah. was the only number on the scorecard that day, so it was. Yeah, we start fired off the round early with a 10, I think, and then we wrote <laughs> two on there, and that's it. Yep. Finished the day two but, under, yeah. <laughs> um, do we want to do I do you guys want me to do my sell or do you want to go down the line with buys and then come back? Uh, I can do my sell. Go ahead and do your sell. Go ahead and do your okay. sell. Yeah, so we're, we're gonna sell the fuck out of GameStop. Um, what Whoa. what purpose does it serve in the modern era? <laughs> I went in there today to buy my headset and a PlayStation controller, and like I hadn't been in there in a couple of years, and it was completely different, man. Like that's terrible. I, didn't their stock go like bankrupt? And then like, don't even ask me about this employee, man. This fucking Discord yeah, moderator, fucking yeah. swamp ass. Like this guy, this guy couldn't <laughs> help me if it was trying to save his life. I mean, we. I mean, I mean, he, my question, my question is, why the hell would you need help? That GameStop's about as big as my closet. I mean, God no, I, but uh, he was like, so, so I was trying to buy a used PlayStation remote, and he has three of them behind the thing. And he lied to me about one of the prices, and 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 I wasn't happy about it. He said I was like, he's like, which color do you want? I'm like, which one's the cheapest? And he's like, the black one, but the white one's the same price. And and they brought it back to the PlayStation factory to fix it. And so I was like, okay, give me the white one. He scans them. The white one's ten more dollars. So, hello. Which one? The blue one. I'll be back. And on to that, Luke, oh. you're up. All right. <laughs> um, I am buying LIV Golf. I have made statements in so. the past about supporting Live Golf, and I am. Whoa, 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 whoa! Are we moving on? Oh, you, you have more to say? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can't. Yeah, so, I mean, we. So the white remote was ten dollars more, <laughs> and you'd think like. <laughs> I probably I probably would have like been like give me the black one. But we came back with the white remote. We spent the 10 extra dollars. Um I probably nice. should have said something. I probably should have said something. I didn't say something. Um and now we're here. We 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 are 10 dollars shorter than if we had spoken up, but we're going to sell that that jabroni behind the desk and we're going to sell GameStop as a whole. Very well. I've it. On to curve. All right. All right. So I've been a supporter of this uh, brand in the past. I am buying Live Golf. Um, finally get, getting someone to win a major. I was just hoping for that to happen um, soon, and it did. Brooks Kepka. Um, I think the brand's fun, you know? And I think golf, some people just need a little bit of fun golf. Today, uh, Har- Harold Varner, the third one, that was fun, you know, seeing him on the victory um, on the victory stand with his caddy, but... um. Big buying of LIV golf. 
He's and a Jordan I, guy. Yeah, he's a Jordan he sponsor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm actually selling our local Bojangles because <laughs> two times in a row I have ordered a chicken sandwich combo and I get the like the biscuit filet combo instead. And it's gonna be very oh, unhappy. No. So, no, did question did you give them the number? Did you you know no, how it says like may like, I have the number? No, but like even at the one in Columbia, I usually just tell them a chicken sandwich combo and I get the actual chicken. You gotta sandwich. give them the number. You gotta give them the number. Moving forward, you gotta give them the number. Okay, I guess, but I'm still selling them because they should they should have what chicken you tried the is. new one. The new what? Bojangles. Oh, the new Bojangles? I have not. It's pretty nice. I, they built one right yeah. by the high school, right? I just saw that. Sutton where the loves is. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Luke, do you do you know they just built one there by that yeah, like roundabout? Yeah. 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 yeah, I saw I saw that the other night. So yeah. I actually yeah, I mean I, I don't I don't mind that sell. So. That I usually take a lot of heat from those. Like like I order food from there and I feel like I'm getting like fucking tried by jury. Like they're like they're like talking down on me and shit. Like I just committed a The worst is when the lady at the window is on the phone when she's trying well, I say to say felony. Money. Yeah, that too. Like I'm like that lady. Hey honey. Can I have dollar seventy two? She's like doing the shoulder thing with the, like one of these. Numbers. What are you getting? One of, one of these numbers. All right. What are you getting for a dollar seventy two? Who wants to take it? Chase. Um, I'm gonna dig deep here on baseball. It's probably a name y'all don't know. Ryan, you might know this name because you're betting. You might have bet on him. I'm buying Hunter Brown. Yeah. Pitcher for the oh. Houston Astros. We we we've lost Weiss two times in thirty seconds here. I he think. he just sold the dog. Um, <laughs> I'm buying Hunter Brown. <laughs> Sorry, think, I think he's he's gonna be a guy in the uh, in the bigs for a long time. He's I hate I I I hate throwing out big name comparisons, but man, he reminds me of Verlander. Whoa. Reminds me a lot of Verlander, especially in an Astros uniform. That's a name I know. Young Verley. What'd you say, Ryan? Young Verley. Young Verlander. Yeah, I, I yeah, I think I think he's a fucking dog. Um and my sell this see, I'm gonna sell a team. And I'm gonna sell a team that's leading their division. In baseball, and I think they're a fluke. I don't think they're going to win their division, and it's going to be the Milwaukee Brewers. I'm going to sell them. I don't hate it. I just advanced statistic wise. Uh-huh. We set up yourself, man. Advanced, Come on, we s- advanced. No, statistic I'm going to be. I'm going to be honest. They don't compare. Okay. They don't compare advanced statistic wise. Now they they do have the weakest division in the National League by far. Um, but you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of youth movement going on in the division, and um, I believe in I believe in three teams in that division that that could beat the Brewers. Brewers so yeah, I'm you must not heard number eleven. The Brewers have got the injury bug. Uh, pray for Willie. He's on the seven day concussion IL. He got. Dude, he got fucking rocked. He got drilled off a ninety mile an hour ball off the bat right in the face in the dugout. So hopefully he's he's okay though. Damn, You'll catch man. him back in a yeah. week wearing a catcher's mask in the dugout. Yeah. Can yeah. we buy can we buy a rowdy Telez getting a hot mic in these games? <laughs> <laughs> it's a spectacle. Yeah. For the Brewers. He's talking about like the all like we're the if all you know, beef team. You know. Oh, we uh, take it away. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna start off with sell, and I'm gonna go to a team in the NL Central, and I'm gonna go to the Pirates. And Ooh, Curb was ready. Don't that get was. me wrong. They have they have really good players. They're just not set up. And I'm talking this season. They they're gonna be good okay. in the future. Okay. But for this season, I'm gonna sell them. Mitch Keller, very good. Um, Key Brian Hayes, very good. Brian Reynolds, very good. But it's just not sustainable. You saw them have the best record in the NL the first couple weeks of the season, and they, they've they fallen off. They're now 500, but I think it gets even worse than that. 
I think you you could see him being a bottom two, if not bottom team in the division. So yep. And my buy, I'm gonna go to a uh, shopping center. And I'm gonna go Costco. Yeah. Costco. <laughs> I mean, it's already one of the biggest names that you hear, and I mean, they just have everything you'd want. Yeah, they have free samples. It's huge. They How about have, those pizzas? How about the pizza? They, they, oh, yeah, it's very good. I, I mean, love how we start with the free samples. <laughs> All for it. They, they have like play sets there. Like it's just crazy. Like it's just unbelievable. The prices you can't beat the prices. But you gotta have a membership. Nah, it's worth it. <laughs> worth the membership. <laughs> You got a friend of the pod who who is a full time employee at Costco and they pay him great. So I'm all on the yeah Costco train. Yeah, yeah. Does he, does he get a free membership with that? Yeah, he gets like the black card. It's like crazy. Like he like flash elite. it out. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Yep. It's it's, it's a Real, since we're I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna buy Lidl L I D L Lidl. I don't know if anybody. Has ever been. I feel like I've heard of it. I don't know what is it though. It's a it's a like grocery store pretty much, but they got a little bit of everything. It's like a smaller, like you know, it's a European place. Three of us buying Bucky's. No, yeah, yeah always. <laughs> I'm also yeah. gonna buy one more thing before we uh, transition into our uh, top five. I'm gonna buy the fact that me and Dave won our first bet last week, two weeks ago. Now. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Finally happened. Long wait, did we, wait, did, did we? Did we? Did we get the the? Did you get everything yeah, squared yeah, away I for that? It. We said, I got it. Can I ask what the bet was? You can. It was. it was Michael Porter Jr. over two and a half threes, and Austin Reeves PRA twenty four and a half. I believe game four. Was it game three? Game I four? Remember. I mean, three, four, three, four. Something. What'd you bet? I'm gonna go you four. Uh, ten each to tw- win twenty. Ten each to win twenty each. Yeah. So. It's well, our first win. It's a big. Yeah, you know, Chase something. was a big deal. Had a baby. Shout out to yeah. our guy Tyler for that. That was yeah. his lock, the Loch Ness monster himself. So that was a big deal for us. Shout out to Weiss for getting that thing in for us too. By the yeah. way, yeah, both of our prize picks don't work. Yeah, yep. thank you, Ryan. Okay, yep, yep. The prize picks are just trying to save y'all some money. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It's a sign from God. He does not. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's not happy with us betting. All right, we'll go and take another intermission. Are we gonna go quickly? Go. No, 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 no way, no way, no way. I didn't see it. Go ahead and take a quick quick through mine. So go ahead and head into. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, 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 we're waiting, we're waiting. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I can go first. You just get get the Chell downloading. Okay. Yeah, Chell is downloading. All right. Moving into our top five here, Ryan. Did you say you want to go first? Yeah, I'll go ahead and get mine out of the way. Um, I'm not gonna do it. Time out. Luke, what is our top five? Well, oh, yeah. our top five today is the top five most American things or things to do in honor of Memorial Day tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm going to run through these pretty quickly. So at five, I'm going to go television and movies. Um, I mean, it's just. I mean, if you guys don't like it, watch a movie, go sit down, oh. get some popcorn. <laughs> I'll just enjoy a nice movie. Okay. And number four, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go cities. Some very good cities here in the U.S. Um, and number three, I'm gonna go natural parks. I don't know if you got two, the right. Number two, I'm going baseball. There you okay. go. There you go. The and number one. I think one top one of the top countries in obesity rate. We're gonna go with food. Uh, <laughs> okay. If you I think thought you were gonna go obesity. You're gonna think food. America, America has a, a tons of food, tons of food choices, and and. Okay. Okay. Good stuff. Oh, there are okay. Start, Ch- Chase, you you want me to go now? Yeah. Are, are you ready, or do you want to wait? I mean, yeah, I can go now. Okay. Okay. I have some props. Jesus. So number one is a one dollar bill. One dollar bill. Are you going one to five here, or are you going? Yeah, one to five. One to five. Just trust. Okay. Trust. Just trust. Uh, Just trust. Number two, another very American object. 
the five dollar bill. Oh my god. Oh my Look god. Like, very American. Ten dollar bill. Oh my god. If you don't have a two dollar bill, this is gonna be a bad list. Number four. Twenty dollar bill. Oh my god. Do you have a two dollar bill? Number five. Hey, better a hundred is not better than a two dollar bill. It's not a fucking hundred dollar bill, it's a fifty dollar bill. <laughs> wow. Well, that was about money. as in the US straight thing. about that was straightforward. I believe you might be going to get a two dollar bill is my assumption here. Money is a beautiful thing. Yes. So the literal approach to the challenge was taken by none other. There you go, Mr. There you go, Chase. Where'd he go? Might be funny. Like, is there? Isn't there like a a dollar coin? Maybe. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. There you go. Thank you. Not well, a very um, American thing, though. You don't see these around. You know what? You you want an honorable mention? Yeah, we have a hundred stripper ones. <laughs> there you go. It's very All American. Right. Okay, we have two. You, very... you want me to go? I mean, do you want me to go? Or you want me? To, you want to go? I'll go. It's okay. I'll go. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Number five. What? What? what we? I said, we're, yeah, we, we're, <laughs> we good? I'm watching a WNBA game and somebody oh. just <laughs> faded away and was not even close to the to the hoop. <laughs> the W. The WNBA will be nowhere near. Any of these uh. Um. Okay. So, number five. We're gonna start off with baseball. It's America's pastime. I'd be remiss if it wasn't somewhere on this list. Number four, we're going to lock in the blue jeans. We're going to go blue jeans at four. Um, probably, I'd say it's an American staple. You think of like classic American man. You think blue jeans. Chase yeah. is not happy about it. Can we, what? The fuck. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. Wait, what? Wait, how did you change, dude? You were like frozen on my screen, and then your hat changed. Fucking do we? Do we? Meaning. Are we gonna rebuttal the blue jeans, or can I move on? Move on. Okay. Number three, we're gonna lock in the Fourth of July. Um, as I mean, it really doesn't get much more American than that a day, in my opinion. Um, number two, give me tackle football in there. At number two, we're gonna go <laughs> any, any variety of tackle football. Could be Thanksgiving, could be the NFL, and a number Thanks. one. Get, get, Chase, no, 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 go, 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 no, go, no, 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 no. I want to hear this. What? <laughs> you just said what it could, could you be possibly Thanksgiving, say? Like... Yeah, you, you know, you played football with yeah. family. I don't know, like what? Keep moving. Okay, uh, number one, give me the cookout slash grill out, however you want to call it. Give me, give me the cookout, not the restaurant. Give me the family cookout at one. I'd rather have the restaurant. Oh wow, you! I'm sorry for you, man. <laughs> you, you're lying. You're lying to yourself there. Kidding. <laughs> um, sure. and I'll start us off. I have two honorable mentions. Um, I'll take Ryan's food and make him a little more specific with uh, hamburgers. I feel like it's just one of the. Are first we things bracketing think of. hot dogs in there? Or no. Um, no, just hamburgers. That's a, that's a whole another conversation that hamburgers. doesn't need to happen. And I also have baseball in my honorable mention as well. And the five, I have NASCAR. I feel like just Americans going to NASCAR, it's just like, I don't know, something okay. I see a lot of that I like. You can put baseball below yeah, NASCAR. Yeah, I no, don't know. Yeah, I know. Um, At four, this is a fun one, I have being good in the Olympics. I think it's very American. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're just always better than everyone else in the Olympics for the most part. Like sometimes in the winter it's a little close, but usually it's just a landslide. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> um, number three, I have to give some credit to my girlfriend Jen for um, assisting with this one. Using Fourth of July or any other holiday, such as Memorial Day, as an excuse to drink. So like, that's just something that yeah, only we do is take holidays and just assume we're supposed to drink. But I'm gonna round of applause for Jen as well. Yeah, that's that. That's a new addition since the last podcast. Yeah, clap it up for the young man. Yeah, Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Um, number two, we do have American football staple. Whenever you, yep, thank you, Chase. Ready. And number one, because I'm literally motion, doing this motion. tomorrow. I'm joining the band. 
with the the cookout slash barbecue. Yep, on great pick for American. So that's my that's my top of the list. But great category, guys. I'm missing. I did not say my honorable mention. I have beer in there at the yeah. honorable mention. Uh, anyone else got any honorable mentions they didn't mention? Uh, maybe some accents, something like that. <laughs> y'all, I, I almost said like y'all, just the word y'all. Yeah. Like I almost went there, but I got a lot of things. Boots could be trucks. you could have could have thrown in like racism in there in that top five. <laughs> the fuck is your problem? I'm just saying we're going like the obesity route. Like you could also pick another national issue. Like I think uh, something far worse. It's not going to though. All right, I got an honorable mention. Abortion. Wait, wait. <laughs> Please, where are we going with that? I can't say it. <laughs> oh boy. All right, and we would like to round out the podcast by Luke Kirby singing the national anthem. Oh, the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, hold on. Remove your hat, you dipwad. The disrespect to our nation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, divisible with liberty and justice for all, baby. Yeah. Welcome to America. Have Welcome back to the podcast. That was beautiful. We will, we will check y'all out in the next podcast. Stay tuned. Have a great Memorial Day. Peace out. Peace out.